Good day guys, welcome to Emulated Ben and I'm extremely excited to share this video with you guys. Uh, this video tutorial, I finally figured out how to connect a cheap $7 Ely9341 speed to a Raspberry Pi and achieve 60 FPS. Boom. Let's get started. Right, so in this method, uh, the VCC or 3.3 volts is gonna be the same as the previous method. So 3.3 volts goes to pin number one on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, ground goes to pin number 20 on the Raspberry Pi. Now, the changes in here are very crucial for rest of the pins and if you get uh, this incorrect then your screen will not work all right uh, so starting from uh, CS CS will go to pin number 24 so just connect it up to pin number 24 reset here reset will go to pin number 26 so it will go in here pin number 26 DC data control will go into pin number uh, 22 or GPIO 25 so it's in here um, Mozi is simply Mozi so we can just connect it back to Mozi or keep it connected there if we did the last method SCK will go to pin number 23 so same as before uh, LED will go to file volts so this screen with this method the screen will be brighter because it's directly hooked up to the 5 volts and MISO is MISO so it's pin number 21 MISO pin on the Raspberry Pi and that should be enough so this is how we connect our screen to the Raspberry Pi for this uh, new method connect the Raspberry Pi to your wireless network make sure uh, that uh, this is the same wireless network as your uh, personal computer because we will need it for SSH in. Go to Raspi config and uh, interface options and enable SSH if you haven't already. Install plugin your Windows computer uh, if you haven't already all right so we're gonna try an SSH SSH into uh, the Raspberry Pi when you first uh, try to put it in through uh, it will ask for login s is pi and if you haven't changed anything, the typical password is Raspberry. And we are in, into the Raspberry Pi's uh, interface. Now, first thing we want to do, if you set up the uh, SPI screen with my previous method, then you just wanna go into the file editor. Uh, and open up the config file in here uh, we just want to make sure that SPI is turned off so just put a hash sign uh, before the this line uh, Turn off the SPI uh, so that it uh, doesn't interfere. Um, just Control O, Enter, Control X. After doing that, uh, we're just gonna kill uh, the uh, SPI um, frame buffer that we had on. So 
FBCP, enter. That should kill off the previous FBCP driver that may be running. Okay. The next thing, and go to the uh, the guy who wrote the code, Juge. HTTPS GitHub dot com. So it's gonna clone this. Download the files. So it has downloaded the file. Next, next stuff. We're gonna go into this uh, recently downloaded file. So CD FB FBCP dash ed nine three four one enter we're gonna make a directory here so mkdir build build uh, next up we're gonna go into this directory cd build we are in right uh, now we go And uh, finally, to test if the screen is working or not, in sudo. So after the Pi is rebooted, um, just uh, get back uh, to Putty and SSH in. And one final thing we need to add to this is so that every time you turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi, the screen would boot up. So we're gonna just open up sudo nano etc rc dot local. All right. Now, if you remember, we added FBCP end, so we just want to remove that, and we want to add one line here, which is sudo uh, b Now is the good time to disconnect the HDMI. Just reboot the Pi again and wait for the HPI screen to boot automatically. Now that the screen is working perfectly, let's test the same games that I tested with the other method, uh, just to compare the speed. Also the FPS counter and some other settings are on the top.
a very huge thank you to JUJ or Jekka Jailani uh, who wrote the whole script and helped me a lot trying to figure this out how to set it up I hope you like this video if you did please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe because I have put in so much effort into this trying to figure it out uh, until next time thank you